So we were watching something. Oh, we were watching, um, Dev and I, this was. We were watching Gangs of London, which is oh, way different to what I thought it was going to be, by the way. I thought it was going to be sort of easy watching and it was intense <laughs> and it was full hour, full hour per episode. You, We've only you thought one. gangs of anything and would be easy watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first scene was somebody killing somebody by having them hang upside down off a rope, off a skyscraper. Spoiler alert! And then, this is the very first scene, <laughs> yeah, and, then, yeah. and then uh, setting them alight until the rope burned and they fell. Yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, at one point, I guess there must have been a gypsy on there, and then Dev said, have you ever seen any gypsies to me? And then I thought, I said, yeah. And then I thought it would be a good convo because it made me think I hadn't even thought about this until you asked. We saw gypsies fairly often growing up yep. because they would come through our town like at least every year and stay for a couple of months near the leisure center. And yep. it was just sort of a nonchalant common experience. My, my first uh, intro to gypsies is uh, Brad Pitt. When he played, Snatch. Um, it's Snatch. In, is it Snatch? Snatch, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's and, Snatch. And, Good film. and the way that they, so they're hard and they're they're thrifty and they're cunning and they're opt- opportunistic. That's the way that I got. That, that's the picture I got painted by what Brad Pitt, how Brad Pitt played the. That was the a good gypsy. film. Yeah. So I yeah. do. I don't know, Emma, if you were there for this, but. A couple of my fondest memories of gypsies growing up were one of them, which you might have been there, was when you used to go to karate. Mm. And um, we used to do karate in Les Centre, as Emma said. Like, they, these gypsies would post up in the fields of the Les Centre for a few months at a time. And this yeah. was during the summer. It was very hot. So our karate instructor was like, let's go outside and do a session outside. So you just imagine oh, yeah, this instructor, I doing the sensei. So the sensei's at the front, you know. We're all stood like in a grid-like fashion facing the instructor, the sensei. Yeah. And we're doing our catters and stuff. And then you just have these gypsies just running, weaving in and out of us. <laughs> we're like practic- <laughs> practicing this zen level of patience, like doing what we're doing in between. <laughs> <laughs> I so don't remember. I the don't other one remember. was... Um, they came into the school and they just... I, I remember... Uh, going into the toilets in the science block in our school and just walking in and just seeing these two people just stood there with a microwave just in the bathroom just <laughs> like stood in the back of the bathroom just staring like as you walk in i'm like all right and i walk right back out and come to find out they'd gone in there they'd stolen it from the staff room and they had like snuck in there on their way out <laughs> like as an escape because they saw someone <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> I don't. Well, I wouldn't remember but, that because I wasn't there. Are, are gypsies the same as carnies? What's a carny? A, like a guy um, from a can, like carnival. I, I guess you could be a. I I think you could be a gypsy and a carny. Right, but a carny but not isn't the same. necessarily carnival, a gypsy. Carnival, like what? What do you mean a carnival? Like, like, like you know the guys that eat meat. A carnival. You know people, you know, no, no, no. A you, carnival. 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 You know the ones that used to come to our town every year, Emma. Like the traveling carny. Yeah, with the... They used to set right, it up so in the middle of the someone, town. I know someone. I actually played basketball with, with someone who was a traveling circus carnival guy then, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but... Because uh, I think he, he, he identified as a... But I don't... He's not really a gypsy, <laughs> but like... Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, but I, I was so intrigued. I, I, said, I said to me... It was such a non-issue and a common occurrence. So I thought, was this the same for my brother? So I asked you and you said the same. And then I asked mum and dad, they said the same. And where, um, but they, so you like, it was a kind of thing where you knew that there could be robberies, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be violent. Like they might just break in and get something, perhaps. It's it's a robbery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So. but it you, wasn't. You just, you just gave out the definition of an actual robbery. <laughs> <laughs> did you use the dictionary for that <laughs> but it was never a thing like oh my gosh there's gypsies whatever it was just 
Oh, the gypsies are back type thing. Have you ever met a gypsy, CJ? Yeah. We have gypsies. There's gypsies in Malta, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So uh, what what was your interaction with them? Do you remember? I was like, hi, auntie. How are you? (laughs) 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 What? Are you serious? My grandmother's supposed to be meant to be a gypsy. gypsy. (laughs) Is this the same type (laughs) of gypsy? Because I will say... Like Americans consider gypsies to be slightly different things, don't they? Yeah, I don't know. They're probably slightly. They can, they're probably. They're, yeah. probably, they're probably slightly different. So, what? what what's um? Describe your auntie. Or like, who was the gypsy in your family? I don't, I don't really want to publish. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are different types. Like, mum reminded me. There's the Romani types, and that's the type where they sort of live in the the barrels, like the half barrels, horse horse drawn. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. there's your more modern where they got caravans pulled by top notch vehicles, <laughs> like nice mint cars, and they're just different. But um, that also, as, as I said, I, I don't know if it's true, but someone said my grandmother was a gypsy. Yeah, but I don't know if it, I don't know if it's true or not. Did she look like a gypsy? You don't remember? I don't know, man. She, 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 no, no, I remember her. She's a bit nuts. But all right, describe a gypsy to me. Well, when I say gypsy to you, what do you what do you picture in your head? Someone who's nomadic. Yeah, but what oh. they look like? What do they look like? Like, do they look like you know how Brad Pitt had a certain look, and the women had a yeah, certain look? I don't know, man. Like, just look at people. Oh yeah, so they didn't look like they didn't have a certain look. They didn't dress a certain way. That's what I'm trying to get at. No, no, just nomadic, but yeah. they'll stay in the same spot for okay. long. Yeah. So like where my parents live now is um, in a small village up north, and they apparently live really close to where the annual horse fair is, and gypsies come from far and wide, even overseas, to attend this uh, this annual horse fair. So once a year for about a few weeks, there's just gypsies lining like the streets, like the <laughs> like you know little lay by as you're saying there's like a little lay by where, you, where your trucks would pull into sleep you know your truck drivers mm-hmm. that will be full of like caravans and gypsies and they'd 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 you know put their horses right next to the road's edge the horses will be there there's kids running around and it goes on for about yeah it goes on for about a few weeks and then nothing it's like they turn up one morning and then they're gone like that hmm. what's the philosophy of a gypsy Mm-hmm. What's their freedom? What's their? They're free. They don't pay tax. They don't do. They don't have to stay in the same spot. If they want to go somewhere, they go. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's I've never asked one. Next time I- is that it? Freedom. I'm assuming so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It says the Roma don't follow a single faith. I guess it's talking about faith. They usually adopt the predominant religion of the country where they're living um, and describe themselves as many stars scattered in the sight of God. These are some of the very many ones, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Freedom. Freedom. Good old gypsies. Someone said, how, how do you say hello well, in gypsy? <laughs> what was that, Alexander? Hel- to answer your earlier question from a, I guess, better source than yours truly, an example of a gypsy is those who travel with a carnival. There you go. Huh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> is that from America? Or is um, that just a worldwide? This is from yourdictionary.com, which clearly sounds very reliable. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought gypsies were people that like just move around. They don't stay in the same spot. Yeah, that's a general. Yeah, yeah. That's what we think, anyway, right? <laughs> Who knows? What, yeah. You know? I mean, you don't know much, right? Like, because they they keep yeah, to themselves, and they still do. Yeah, like, if you've really ever seen gy- my gypsy Ooh. wedding, what was that show? What's that show? Oh. They um, they still do the like the girls tend to get married young, 
Um, so from when they're like teens, they they do all the housework. They're like they they keep the house clean. That they know that's their role. Um, they marry young. So when they go to these annual big get-togethers, it's a it's a big deal. Like the women, are, the the girls are trying to find themselves a match, and the boys obviously they marry young too, and then the the husbands will go out to work and I they do a lot of cash in hand jobs. Even mum and dad got they they painted part of the house. Do you want to do you want us to we can we will stain your we'll stain your wood? And they're like, all right then. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they knew they'd already got a quote to stain some like the the wood on the front of the house and then the gypsies turn up these two guys with some stain and they're like we've got some stain left over do you want us to stain your wood (laughs) we'll do it for however much and they're like sweet yeah that's way cheaper (laughs) so they did it for him (laughs) and they're happy as larry they got the cash (laughs) went off (laughs) mum and dad were happy because they got the job so is, is gypsies um intertwined in the english culture like, are they? Do they pop up in London, Central London? Central I've London. I've not noticeably seen I, any here. I, I assume they wouldn't go to major cities. No, because they ha- they've got city. all their they they, well, they have to have somewhere to set up. Like, they need a yeah. field area. Yeah, they need to take like, a lot of space. There's like an, a a lot of abandoned um apartments in uh, London. Yeah, but that's they, squatting, not yeah. being a gypsy. Hmm. That's totally diff. Oh, sorry. Also, the level, <laughs> sorry. the level of policing in the city as well is just higher oh, there a lot? in general. Yeah. So apparently a lot of the fields in the gypsy known areas, uh, they'll have barriers or barricades of some sort to the fields where, where the, they, the police don't want them in that area. I, I just find it, um, like, I find it so intriguing that, like, that, that they're in... They've been part of your childhood and you recall memories and it's like yeah they ran through our karate class <laughs> yeah um i saw one with the microwave and oh. you know like <laughs> you don't you don't dob them in right because they're doing their thing i'm doing my thing <laughs> right but like and then then they stained your parents <laughs> they stained your parents door like you, you're Not talking just the door i the mean if facade if M, if cj if you had if we had gypsies here I don't know if like there are so many people that would say, "Oh, mate, you can't, you can't stay there." Like, could you imagine if gypsies rocked up at our park, and then they just put tents up at the cricket field? A hundred percent, the cricket, the cricket up club. We okay. get, but get fucked, mate. What are you doing? Can't get up here. What are you doing? Okay. The gypsies wouldn't do that on a cricket field. What? Because they know there's people there. They'll choose somewhere a bit more excluded. Yeah, I don't... Isolated. Th- thinking thinking about it, Dev, like, I don't get how they did just... Because it was consecutive years in the same field at the Leisure Centre. Yeah, which the like Leisure Centre is thing. our main... Like, well, it is our only public sporting area in the whole town. Yeah. The fact that they rocked up specifically so the, there and the police never did anything i don't get how that happens think sometimes no no now. sometimes the police would shoo them on after a while they'd be like, all right time to go type thing yeah because usually, usually but why not immediately somewhere where there's not like, people how do you know cj what? you know Ooh. i got a bit of gypsy oh here's here's a fact <laughs> Jeanette. Cause... Genetic research has shown that the Roma, the Romani gypsies, descended from a single group of people who left northwestern India 1,500 years ago. Oh, wow. In the centuries that followed, Romani spread throughout Europe and by the 19th century had migrated to the Americas. Today, they're diverse people living in every inhabited continent in the world. Um, Romani includes various distinct dialects, which derive from Sanskrit and are closely related to India's Hindi language. That's really? interesting. So That's interesting. They, uh, in a sense, not not because of that definition, but just in general. In a sense, gypsies are people who just went, oh, these these are the societal rules. Nah, nah, not for me. Opt out. <laughs> mm, I don't like that rule. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Siege, I uh, siege, uh, man, I am so intrigued by your you're the SME on this topic. Uh, like it's a matter of fact. Can you tell what? me? Can you tell me stuff about the gypsies? Because I, because 
when they when you said uh, they were uh, on the cricket field, you said that's not where they would go. Yeah, I, I, I am, I'm, I'm assuming right. they'll choose somewhere where it's not going to bother anyone. Because they don't draw attention to them. Because first. they used to go on the fields, their main sporting fields in the UK. That's why it sounds odd. Yeah. Like, why right? would you go there? They just that's need somewhere. More attention. They're, not, they're not trying to hide. They're, that's yeah, not, they're, they're, not, <laughs> they're not hiding. Yeah, but they're not going to, like, try to bring a lot of attention to themselves. Oh. Uh, like, so why would you? I mean, no, they do. Like, they yeah, just they, go wherever they, just, they need to go. They just operate as if they... It's almost like you've got two groups of people who are living complete opposite lives, occupying the same space and just pretending like the other one's not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just... I'm so intrigued by how you they interacted just... with them. <laughs> Like Emma was so blasé. Like she That's used to go. That's why I had to question myself and wait. Wait, I've got to ask my brother because I. It wasn't. A, it was like a non-issue. She'd walk. <laughs> she walk past the gypsy camp and she's like, "Yeah, they'd rock up every summer." I'm like, "What? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean they just did camp? What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> did camp? <laughs> just pulled up. That's our, that's our neighborhood gypsies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emma's walking past, going, "Hey, Harry." She just kept going to the bakery. Like, I just, I was like, what is going on? I'm intrigued. Mm, there you go. Do we, have, do we have gypsies in Australia? That's what I was asking you, Siege. I don't know. I'm like, I, I've I don't never know. seen. I've never Kangaroo's seen gypsies. gypsies. Hmm. The carnival, the closest thing I, 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 if anything, is the carnival. Right? One day they're there, one day they're gone. You never is that like, like a thing everywhere in the world, by the way? It, it was big back back in the not when we were yeah, growing I remember up. Yeah, ca- I remember the carnival. Yeah, but so they're getting less and less gypsies now. Gypsies and Romanies are ex- also expected to support the larger community by attend Romani community by attending weddings, christenings, funerals, etc. Um, it, by not attending, it's seen as disrespectful and can lead to isolation. There are certain traditions they follow as well. For example, when a teenage or sorry once a girl reaches puberty they have to wear long skirts and dresses and um they still practice uh, arranged marriages teen marriage and bride prices paid by the groom's family to the bride's family so they're very traditional mm. and it's interesting they're, they're they're from they're like the heritage is from india i didn't know that yeah and they talk sanskrit sanskrit I mean, there's probably not everywhere that does. I don't know. Maybe because, as I said, there's your traditional Romany type mm. and then there's your modern. Mm. So I'm not sure. But yeah. Good old gypsies. Mm. Let's, let's go gypsying for a few months. Today, 80% of Romanies live below the poverty line. This mm. was as of about five years ago. Could you be a rich gypsy? Yeah, there's definitely some with like Mercedes Benz pulling their caravans and. Yeah. Yeah. Still got a how can you be a rich gypsy? Not, not quite a definition of rich, so um, <laughs> I think that's just more <laughs> ill-advised spending than rich. <laughs> <laughs> well, because like, they, do, they don't own any land. What else so do they need? Like, like they, that's know? what they want, isn't it? All right. Yeah, interesting. For why not talk about it? Yeah, gypsies. Tell us, tell us if uh, gypsies have been part of your life. I'm intrigued. <laughs>